Mr. Vickers has made this announcement, which got a little ball rolling, a little breakfast machine. That did, 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 Mr. Vickers announced on Twitter, which uh, I can only see by screenshot because uh, his private and Elon Musk has broken Twitter. says, imagine, if you will, a convicted sex offender. This convicted sex offender is allowed by law four days, two hours per day, every month visitation with his son. This right has been allotted to you for 10 months, and those 10 months, you've been allowed a total of 40 days and 40 hours of total visitation. By your own choice, you only use nine days and 19 hours. By your fifth two-day visitation, after skipping out on May and June, you miss your first day entirely. No show, no call to either parent or the visitation center. The excuse, your Uber canceled on you. Your follow-up excuse, you still don't know how to use your Mexico phone, so you had no way to contact anyone to tell them you were running late. But then how did you get an Uber in the first place that canceled on you? But it isn't in there. No, sir. Now imagine on the second day, the mother of your child, a victim of a sex crime for which you've been convicted, has been overly nice and baked cupcakes for this visitation because it was supposed to be for the child's birthday, even though you didn't come during the month or the following child's actual birthday. You don't get your child a birthday present, your excuse. You wanted to get to the visitation early, so no gift. But the child's birthday was over a month ago. You were a party. You were in a party town with plenty of shopping for two days on the way to the city where the visitation was. Again, your A-logs got your son more than you did for his birthday. Fucking phenomenal. Ralph replies... Oh, shit, I fucked up. Um, Ralph replies saying, The hope and the praying for me to relapse really is insane from some quarters. Were they really confident that was going to happen during this trip or something? Fail. Ha, 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 ha. None of the other bad things you wish on me happened either. 100% okay emoji. Um, then, more rumblings. There appears to be a docket filed. A tort of defamation in civil court from Vicious Vickers to Rad Roberts, Ethan Ralph in Nevada City. So now, we are back to the serving Ethan Ralph gambit again, where Matthew Vickers is plotting a way to make serving Ethan Ralph as comical as possible for his own ego. Um, Vickers announces this this gambit on his Twitter, and here's what he says. Kind of surprised no, oh, sorry. Kind of surprised no one saw this until now, but since the public cat is out of the bag, here's how this is going to go down. Ralph has to be personally served with this paperwork at the next visitation in his, with his son, who he's totally going to see. My son, who is an adult that lives in the state of California and the county in which the suit is being filed, and an unrelated part of the case has begged me to let him serve Ralph and he will be waiting for Ralph at the visitation center. He will have papers for Ralph to whom he will hand the papers and say, Ethan, Ralph, you have been served. Ralph does not have the knowledge to identify or does not have to acknowledge his identity because he's personally known to my son. Ralph will graciously and politely accept the papers because he will be on video, possibly by several individuals. He, Ralph, does not accept the papers, or if Ralph does not accept the papers, my son will drop them at his feet, which is considered a valid service. Ralph will keep his mouth shut because my son is a protected person on our mutual stipulation order, and if Ralph pipes up, gets roots, or issue threats, he's violating the order again. Yes, my son is perfectly within his legal rights to make content and certainly to perform a legal service. The only way for Ralph to avoid getting served is to avoid visitations with Zonda. If he chooses to do so, and honestly, I don't think that he will, that's not me keeping him from seeing Xander. That's Ralph choosing not to see Xander, as it has been uh, on every missed visitation, Ralph's choice. Wonder if the little birdie told him that. Um, so, this is the interesting, this is the interesting thing. This is, he's trying to keep Ralph from being able to see Xander. Because if he does, he will be sued with a civil defamation suit, which Xander, or uh, Vickers, is representing himself pro se. So to competently represent himself. So this is basically just like Melinda Scott. He's just abusing the process in order to achieve what he wants, which is effectively a form of uh, lawfare. And I would consider it terrorism because you're um, abusing a system that was put in place to give people an opportunity to represent themselves when they cannot find adequate representation in order to cost somebody money and otherwise intimidate them into doing what you want, which is uh, unethical, to say the least, and it should be illegal, I believe. Um, Ralph replies saying... The visitation center is private property. We shall see what is allowed and what isn't since I will be clarifying with them like uh, now. 
Leave it to a genius, no one in particular, of course, to plan a possibly violent ambush outside a child visitation center that's private property and has to be fair to both sides. I would be shocked if the described scenario would be allowed to fly. I realize no one knows what the fuck is going on here. LOL. Um, same tweet. Vicar says that Ralph contacts him saying that he may not be back in California because he's afraid of being ambushed. I don't know what the fuck that means. Um, Vickers continues to huff and puff and says, and this is great. This whole buildup is, is so amazing to me. He says, apparently he thinks that somehow if the visitation center is private property, it is, that means anything. It doesn't. He's right. I was trying to be nice and ask what it, to make it an easy, peaceful service. Exactly. Like I stated, the other option is to send Placer County Sheriff's deputies into the center and serve him in front of Xander. But I was trying, believe it or not, to keep this embarrassment to a minimum. The ball is in his court now. Um, Vickers again says, what's the visitation center going to say? What can they do? Well, blah, blah, blah. And then he decides to offer this ultimatum to Ralph. Faith gets married. You saw, Ralph signs off his parental rights and allows the Mexican step, stepdad, the one that he calls the diddly, Disneyland diddler, the pedophile, to adopt the baby, um, Zanda. Your responsibilities, Ralph's responsibilities, go away. There's no more child support. The lawsuit gets dropped. Contempt matters get dropped. Existing orders don't get renewed on expiration. You get to live out our lives forever. This is what the entirety of what we want is. Take your leave because I haven't even broken a sweat. 48 hours to decide. Is that clear enough? Um, Ralph threatens to fight it. And I don't think any of these are interesting. I think Ralph talks about here. I'll let him say how this is going to go down. Ralph has to be personally served with this paperwork. Oh, okay. I'll just send this up because I already read that. Um, here's how retarded Vickers is. Here's how, here's how fucking dumb Vickers is. Ralph calls up the visitation center and finds out that he's right. His belief that you cannot do this. You cannot use the threat of service to hide, to stop people or intimidate people into not visiting their own child, which they have achieved a legal guarantee to be able to do is not permissible. And as it turns out, um, <clears throat> I don't know if this is a rule to visitation center or what, or if it's just something that happens in California so often they have a rule for it, or if it's like a specific part of faith's, uh, faith's agreement with the court. But Vickers confirms this and says, it's actually good that Ralph is a coward and afraid of everything with two legs. I could have inadvertently gotten faith into trouble serving Ralph at the visitation center. So Ralph doesn't have to worry. He won't be served at the center, but he will be served. So he, Vickers, if he had actually been smart enough to keep his fucking mouth shut, he would have been dumb enough to do something, which would have been a violation of faith's uh, agreement with the court by using litigation um, or the pro service of process to intimidate Ralph at the visitation center. I, I, I'm actually really surprised that that is a thing, but apparently it is. And Vickers doesn't know because he's not an attorney and doesn't have representation because he's losing money so much that he can't afford representation anymore. And he almost really, really fucked up and got his daughter into trouble with the court because he was using the visitation center as a game. And somehow before this gambit even happened, before it even started, um, he took an L right off the bat and had to come up with a new way to try and service Ralph. However, um, he reminds Ralph that his offer is still an offer. Paper abort Zonda and allow the Disneyland diddler to take full custody as stepfather. Um, and the, the, the terror will stop. The whole ordeal will stop and everyone can walk away from it. Now, I will have you know, I want to remind everybody because I've been following this. This is probably my favorite e-drama. So I, I, I have been following this for a while. When the baby was first born, it really looked like Ralph wanted to walk away from it and not pay any child support. Like what a great deal. The vicious Vickers can be the cuck stepfather to this baby that Ralph doesn't want or care about. He gets to walk away from it, save his money, and hook up with May and have another child and just keep doing this forever. What a great deal for Ralph, everyone thought. However, you may or may not have known that there was a man uh, that people hold in high regard, even though he has since uh, perished and is no longer with us. A man named Jimothy Medeker 
did a stream, one of his final streams, and he laughed at Ralph and said, Ethan Ralph, you, your child, your firstborn son, the only force, firstborn son that you will ever have has been paper boarded. And the A-logs that have bought my t-shirt saying that, uh, literally saying that this t-shirt costs more money than Ethan Ralph has paid to see his son or something. Uh, every one of those will be a testament to your failure as a father. And so Ethan Ralph, who was ready to completely cut ties with the entire Vickers family, huffed and puffed and said, you know what, Medicare, you fucking bitch, you fucking unfunny, untalented, hack, fraud, motherfucker. I made you Medicare, and I'm going to go fight and see my sons. So he did. He marched out, and he fought for paternal rights to a baby because Mr. Medicare made fun of him for not doing so. And thus, uh, Vickers filed for a paternity test. Parental rights were established, and Ralph has been paying $800 a month and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars to fly out to California every so often and also to hire attorneys to fight his multiple ongoing issues with the Vickers family. Incredible. So, um, Ralph is now circling back to what he had to begin with years ago. Walk away and the horror will end. Uh, now that Medicare is dead and not able to uh, goad Ralph into fighting this forever, it looks like that may actually be what's happening. Um, I will uh, reorganize this, actually. I'm going to find some clips. Um, six minutes, four minutes. I'll play this part. Maybe this is it. Dick Masters gets one. And I think Dick gives him a peace of mind. All right, let's see. Man, I'm just reading this crazy message. By the way, he sounds drunk in this. He denies it. Just daring. <laughs> like, you wouldn't even believe. I, I wish, I, I wish, I wish to God I could read these on air. You you would not even. Okay. Um, oh, no. <laughs> When's the 48 hours up? Um, At, like... I mean, like 10 p.m. Pacific, so oh like 11 maybe, something like that. W what's your vote? Yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's clearly in the best interest interests of a child. A giant public countdown ultimatum to be well, on I, your you know, forever. it has like, occurred okay, to bro. me that a lawyer might have a field day with something like that, but uh, um, but I, you know, I don't know. Producer sent three dollars. You could randomly die. The time in between fighting maybe all your son gets what? you if you think about it. Am I man? I'm pretty sure you can fight. You know, is this the one? Dick Master didn't actually give some. We definitely want to lose. Right. The true Ralph. Am the motherfuckers well, actually get gonna... you... Oh, that's what that. It, are you right? in your situation to walk away? Here, well, because what this. else can yeah. you do, Dick? It, are you right, man? Are you motherfuckers well, what actually gonna? Low tax? You want to end up like low tax? No. Everything, every step of the way, and he's fucking dead. So that's what that's what could happen. That's the low tax that goes to Christmas fucking future. You could fight these cons in court. If only someone had done a stream about low tax, maybe that reference wouldn't be so hard to understand. Cuts that are empowered by their fucking crazy narcissist BPD dads who have a huh, many healthy... such cases, Dick. <laughs> many such cases of this, uh, and you'll end up dead because the girl fucks you over in court and the guy fucks you over in court. Like, it's just, like, this endless stream of... No, and shit. they do it together. Like, it's... Uh, no no uh, people in particular, of course, but they work... Yeah, it's yeah. Mr. Inside and it's Mr. Outside. And so they get away with it because of that. Oops, send $5. Why do you think he is offering you this deal? Why make it public? Smells fishy. You're gonna serve me at the intervention. Or not the intervention. <laughs> I've already had one. And then, you know, without revealing too much, they told me directly that would not happen. He's from a kid. And, uh, Man, this is not raising a kid. Like, this is being estranged from a kid by a, a, a group of uh, kidnapping psychopaths. So whatever you think you want to fight for, you're not going to get it. You'll yeah. never be able to raise your son the way you should be able to well, in, plus in this situation. Plus, it's like, dude, do you think he's not going to... 
find out ever like what what do you even i don't know man it, it's mind-boggling to me dude like of course he's gonna know it's the fucking internet it's only gonna get more interconnected like i don't know it, it is no. really bizarre uh i don't know what else to say about it i think you're right no kids is the answer uh, I, I'm starting to really come around. I thought I was doing the right thing. I, I, growing up, I always wanted kids, Dick. I, I was just like, yeah. that's what you're supposed to do. People grow, I percent $5. The kids will always remember that it wasn't you who won't let them see their dad. It's them. Yeah, you. but I might be I dead by right. then, nigga. You just got to walk away and leave it up to God. <laughs> God bless Ralph. What the fuck? That's 18 years. Do I have 18 years left in me? I mean, let's be real. What the fuck? You know what I mean? Yeah, they will. They'll look back on me fondly, but I'll be dead as a fucking doornail. Do you so... I, I wanted to play that because I just want to clip Dick saying it's probably a good idea to just let the fucking kid go. Ralph, it's time to give up. I want to. I want to highlight unironic. Can I get like a little text thing on my screen? Let's do this. Um, yeah, buddy. There we go. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Of course, it's kind of big. Uh, wow, I have so many fonts installed on my computer. I did not know that. No, it's just organized really shittily. Okay, fuck it. I'll just make it smaller. Boom. That work? Hell yeah. So, reasons to fight for Xander. We're going to itemize this. You ready? You ready? One. Own Mr. Vickers somehow. Question mark. Number two own mr medicur somehow question mark because that doesn't make any sense um keep a log or own a logs about paper aborted question mark reasons not to fight for xander or i'll put here like um Brief visitation windows, Qu period, because that's like a real thing. Reason not to fight for Xander. One, never having to deal with that fat retard, Mr. Rickers, ever a fucking game. I consider that a very, very good reason not to fight for, 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 uh, for Xander. Uh, number two, saving literally tens of thousands of dollars not including child support number three saving eight hundred dollars a month on child support wait let's organize it like this not included legal fees not including child support number three saving literally tens of thousands of dollars on flight expenses not including child support number four saving eight hundred dollars a month on child support um, number five, you, Xander will barely know you, even if you do visit him every single time. Um, number six, it's probably not in Xander's best interest to be a continual source of problems anyways. Unironically, not a fucking joke. Come on, come on now. You know I'm right. You know, let's let as a second list. Let's say things you can spend that money on instead. One, knocking up a spicy Latinx in Mexico. Number two, a motorcycle which are really cool and i wish i had one to ride without a helmet number three a pit bull number four a cool truck to bang hoes in such as spicy latinxes okay number five um let's see trips 
around the world to be a globe trotting media mogul in such as Serbia or other cool places to make Joshua wait, wait. <clears throat> to make Joshua moon jealous of your super cool wealth. Okay. You see where I'm going with this, right? You see where I'm going with this. There is literally no reason what whatsoever to continue this litigation for Xander because you're not get you've already won as far as you can get. You can only maintain the status quo indefinitely while having to deal with bullshit forever. And what you get is not that great out of it. There is literally it, it benefits faith. It benefits you. It benefits the child. The only person, the only person to not benefit from this. From you walking away is vicious vickers. Now, you might be thinking, but Josh, Josh Moon, that boy, that man, if he can be called a man, vicious vickers, he offered this deal to begin with. So it must be something that he actually wants. Wrong. Do not think that because he offered the deal, he wants you to take it. Let's uh, let's wipe this this board down. Reasons why Vickers thinks he wants you to quit. One, he's fucking broke lol reasons why vickers would not actually want you to quit number one he is desperate for attention and approval from the internet which is why he runs his stupid ass fucking podcast called called the good the bad and the vicious he does not actually want this to stop. He wants it to go on forever. And he doesn't know it. And he will probably kill himself when people start ignoring him because he has no more court documents. Now, listen here. This is the reality, Ralph. V Vickers will be no more epically owned than when his Good, the Bad, and the Vicious podcast goes down from 10 live viewers to 2, which is just him and his wife, because he has absolutely not a fucking thing going for him, except for that he's involved in litigation with you over Xander, okay? Do you understand? Understand, boy. Understand what I'm saying. Understand? The most... He doesn't... And think, like, surely he must have thought this all the way out through. No, he does not. As you saw with the, the Visitation Center gambit, Vickers is not capable of planning ahead. He thinks he's very clever, and he thinks he knows what he wants, but he's stupid, and he doesn't know what he wants. Trust me on this. I have figured this out. I, have, I, have, I, I give you my permission as the man who has ate, ate the potatoes that were grown from Jimothy Mendeker's grave and is now imbued with his, with his uh, podcast magic powers listen here i give you permission as as e daddy of the kiwi farms to not litigate for xander anymore okay i promise just let it go <laughs> the gym potatoes yes that's right all right Jim uh, vodka that's a that's a good one how many potatoes do you need to make vodka i'm gonna look this up how many potatoes to make a liter of vodka? 15 pound bag. I don't know. Can you get a 15 pound bag from one grave? It's probably, probably can't. It's probably too many potatoes. Yeah, I don't think that'll work. I'd have to choose between getting like a half liter or my french fries. You know what I mean? <laughs> cremated remains are only about five pounds well i mean you mix it into the bed is what you do but i don't think that you don't have me potatoes yeah okay whatever boy um there's more so ralph after after dealing with this shit i think this is before the offer but i want to save it towards the end he says i'm so tired of all these people not my fans they're amazing but it's just sad it'll be over soon. You think you had people in your corner, but you really don't. You'll want to. But want in one hand and shit in the other. See what happens first. My daddy used to say that. 
But if it comes down to people I hate getting money off my labor, I'd rather die, to be quite honest. Morbid, yes, but I don't care. So back to back to suicide baiting. Here's the tweet. I forgot to put it up. Um so that's what I mean. If you if you if you get rid of Xander, then Vickers can't make any money off your uh if you're Lebior, so that's a point in my favor for my argument. Um, I want to say, I want to point out something that the expression is want in one hand and shit in the other and see which fills up first. Though I like his daddy's expression first because he's basically saying like, cause your own problems and see if they cause problems. Because uh, when you say see what happens first as opposed to see which fills up first. It's like, obviously, if you like shit into your hand, you're going to shit into your hand as opposed to wanting into your hand. But if you, I don't know, it, the, just the way that it's constructed makes it have like a completely different impact as far as I'm concerned. So it's a very apropos statement, though. Uh, Ralph continually shits into his own hand and is surprised when it's full of shit. He also tweeted out that all number one is all that matters in his life. I think that usually when people become fathers of uh, multiple children, that number one becomes number two. Maybe even number three, maybe number four, but Ethan Ralph with uh, two kids uh, reminds himself that only he is the most important one. I say apropos a lot. That's not a surprising thing for me to get right. One of my favorite words. Uh, and then Vickers uh, posted or had, of course, his gay ass fucking podcast with a bunch of fucking nobody retards. And, um, he announced this very, very recently, breaking. But I have heard, and I have not yet confirmed, but I've heard that the deal has been accepted and that we will be moving forward with legal papers. So. That's hard to explain. I don't know if Vickers says that he heard, I mean, that he could have heard Dick Masterson say that it would be a good idea to accept it, or maybe he interpreted a tweet, or maybe he just had some kind of fucking like stroke in his brain and he had hallucinations and now thinks that Ethan Ralph is going to accept what his deal. I don't know if there's any promise to that. I don't trust anything that he says, but yeah, that's Ralph in the top left. That's Ralph. Um, <laughs> so vicious Vickers to try and get his uh, podcast rolling. Let me just do a rundown here. He's streaming with his wife, an anime boy VTuber, a literal asshole. And two fucking nobodies. And that's getting the ball rolling. That's been worth it. That's been worth playing tug of, tug of war over a child. That's been worth the constant litigation. That's been worth thousands of dollars in lawyer fees and, and bullshit that he's had to do. That's been worth having his daughter run away and get impregnated by Ethan or Ralph to begin with. It was all worth it. To achieve these staggering heights of success in his newfound career of podcast and entertainer. It was all worth it, chat. It was all worth it. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC of Remember to like and subscribe.